This is a screencast uh, talking about a new interface, new way of representing the J computer language. What we're seeing right now is across this text block I've entered a sentence in J. It's got a verb encased in in uh, brackets and a list of numbers here. And if you were a beginner, you may not be clear about what this is about to do. That's why this new representation may be useful. So if we take a look at it now, it doesn't tell you a whole lot more although you can see that this list down here at the bottom and highlighted here is being affected by this part. Now it doesn't take a lot to think okay well maybe this yellow and blue and green and orange or red all work together to make this part of the program function and you'd be right if you thought that. So let's first take a look at this red box this red box is this entire area. It's red, is what I've decided is the color for conjunctions, and it takes three verbs in J. Blue for a dyadic verb, it's got two arguments. Green for a monadic verb, it's got one argument. And by clicking on this red box, it gives me a representation of what's called a conjunction, which is a fork. And a fork takes verbs and works with them in a specific way. So in this case, we've got a monadic fork, and it's working on its argument, which is this list. We've got a dyadic verb in the center, the divides verb, and it's taking four, which is the number of items in this list. So that's what this verb does, is it takes, counts the number of items, items in its argument. And on this side, it's a little more complex because it's a compound verb. And it's taking a dyadic plus, and using this adverb, it's inserting them within this list. And of course, the list is still this single list. What's interesting is this verb is dyadic because it's taking two arguments, but it's taking two arguments by inserting it within a single argument. So it's taking the list and putting itself in between the different items, and that gives you the sum. So, ah, we start to see what's going on here in J. We have the number of items, and that divides the sum of the items, and that results in the average, or the mean. So, in J, just by putting these series of uh, symbols together, we can generate a program that will calculate the mean for any list we give it. This is the interface. When this would be able to become working, what we would end up doing is, as I made changes here, it would change what we see here, um, and I would still be able to click on the hotspots. might give me some description down at the bottom. And I could essentially do a probe for the different parts of the program that I want to see what's going on, what the data is doing, what things are happening, what it's working on. All those kind of things are kind of useful. A little easier to see than this single one-liner in J, as beautiful and as powerful as it is. Now, you might think this is a long way off, but the new version of J is actually web-based. And the next part of the process, aside from looking at the interface and how it works, the next part of the process will be to try and design a web interface that takes this line, parses it into this kind of a diagram with this functionality. Um, we may not be as far off that as you think. So I look forward to everybody's feedback, and uh, that concludes uh, this podcast.